I thank you for joining me. I'm going to be reading the Earth Class Notes, written by the Twelfth Apostle, entitled The Yoke. In the 11th chapter of Matthew's Gospel record, Matthew describes one of the least understood and most underappreciated records we have of the Son of God addressing his disciples and a gathering of Israelites who truly did not know the one who was before them. The context and setting of this chapter should be understood in every detail. The chapter begins with Jesus honoring the position which John the Baptist fulfilled just after Jesus was sent a message that John was in prison. Then Jesus rebuked the cities where he, representing his father, had preached for they had not accepted his words. The chapter ends with Jesus' focus returning to his chosen twelve. When Jesus heard that John the Baptist had began his ministry in the Judea area, Jesus knew it was time. It was time to begin his ministry there, where he spoke the truth to the Jews who hated him and tried to kill him as they believed Jesus was the illegitimate son of an unfaithful woman. Jesus then began to teach through symbols and analogies that brings us to the subject, the yoke. Everyone at that time knew and understood what a yoke of oxen was, but not so much today. The oxen were castrated bulls from a very large, powerful breed of cattle to be used in moving major heavy objects and were often yoked together, so to speak, to double the power needed to accomplish the objective. The reason the large, strong bulls were castrated were for more control over their power and to keep them from fighting amongst themselves. Jesus taught the symbolic subject of the yoke, referring to oxen, meaning that the power of truth, the human soul labors to understand and know the meaning of life, can actually be achieved through Jesus. As he taught, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Until